Hi everyone, my name is Asib and welcome to day five of Langfist Launch Week. Today we are launching a big improvement for our Python users, a new improved SDK based on OpenTelemetry. First of all, what is OpenTelemetry? OpenTelemetry is a vendor agnostic observability framework that you can essentially use to instrument any kind of application. Now we chose to build our new Python SDK on top of OTEL for two main reasons. The first one is you will have a much easier time instrumenting your application with the new OTEL based Python SDK. You can use our, as you already know from V2, our Observe Decorator. You can now use context managers as well or open and close manual observations for fine-grained control. The great thing here is that all of these three methods are fully interoperable. So you can use an observe decorated function and have a context manager within it to open and close and trace a specific kind of work in there as well. And the nesting in the length view trace will be done for you automatically. You can also access the global client anywhere in your application. So if you have, for example, a tool definition or a tool call, and you would like to have the tool call also nested into your application, this will be done easily by just calling get client and opening and closing a span within that tool execution. The second big improvement to our OTA-based Python SDKs are third-party integrations. So due to the fact that we are now building on top of OTA, this means that any third-party library that is emitting OTA spans within your application, those spans will also be now visible in length views, and they will also be nested correctly in the trace hierarchy as you would expect. Also, if you're using libraries that don't have any OTA instrumentations natively, but there are community packages available, you can install those community packages and basically instrument the library with that, and the emitted spans will then also appear in length views. On our documentation page, we have provided an example for both Anthropic and for Llama Index for that. The SDK is currently in beta, so feel free to check out our docs, give it a spin, and let us know on GitHub what your feedback is and if you have any thoughts on the developer experience as well. Thank you so much and see you soon.